Meet Soren. He's a newly hatched barn owl. He is an asshole older brother named Clud. He has two parents. For now. He also has a maid, a snake named Miss Plither. Yes, a snake. Owls have a symbiotic relationship with snakes in this series. His sister is hatching. His parents named his sister Eglantine. How unfortunate. What a terrible name. A ceremony occurs for her hatching because there is a ceremony for everything in owl society. They sing a song for her. Singing is a constant thing in these books. There are at least two songs per book, and it always takes up at least a page and a half. Soren's parents discuss how eggs have been disappearing from nests recently. Somehow, Soren falls out of the nest. His parents are gone, and conveniently, Clud is the only one there. Clud, can you help me? Soren asks. No, Clud replies. Oh man, guess I'll just die. Soren sighs. Soren doesn't die. Instead, he is swooped up by a mysterious owl and taken to St. Aegeolus' Academy. There, he meets a clever elf owl named Gilfi, who is also not impressed by the situation at hand. Skench, the general in charge, tells the assembled owlets that they are now orphans, and their only purpose is to help the academy now. The owlets are then divided into different pits, or living spaces. Soren is assigned to a pit watched over by Aunt Finny, who they just call Auntie. She begins to assign them numbers for names. I can't wait to get a number from my name. That would be so cool, says a random ally inconspicuously. You're weird, Soren tells her. No, my name is. I'm called Hortense. I've been looking for any excuse to change my name, the Owlette replies. After they get their new names, they are taken to the Glossidium. I'm not really sure how to pronounce that, so please scream at me in the comments because this word will pop out so many times in this book series. The owls are forced there to stare at the moon. They also see two of the other commanders of the academy, Jat and Jut. Gilfi realizes that staring at the moon brainwashes the outlets. They see Hortense stand in the shadows and copy her, which makes them unable to be moon blinked. Soren and Gilfi get themselves assigned to work at the Pelatorium. That is where they dissect owl pellets. They are they dissect pellets in search of flex, a weird metallic sort of thing. Soren gets plucked of some of his feathers after breaking a rule, but was just as chick down, so that isn't very serious. Gilfi catches Hortense breaking the rules, but does not snitch on her. They are taken back to the Glaudicium, where they are caught hiding from the moon. They are put into a chamber composed of white quartz so they cannot avoid the moon's light. Gilfi and Soren end up looking at each other's eyes for the whole night, no straight though, and telling each other stories about Kahula in order to prevent themselves from being moonblinked. This works. They then get moved to work in the Agorium, where captured owl eggs are brought. Hortense works there as well, and she is spotted by the two kidnapping an egg. She is confronted and then admits that she isn't moonblinked at all, and she isn't an ally either. Turns out, Flex can cause birth defects, and she is one that prevents her from growing. Because of that, she decided she would sacrifice herself to go undercover and rescue eggs because no other grown owl could. One day, Soren and Gilfi are observing her rescuing eggs by passing them to waiting eagles. However, she is caught by Sporn and Auntie, who throw her off a nearby cliff. She cannot fly because her wings have been plucked and she falls to her death. The egg is able to be saved. A bit later, they are summoned back to the Glossidium. Instead of being moonbling, some of the owls instead have bats draw blood from their feathers, which makes them wither away and the owls stop feeling urges to fly. Gilfi and Soren discover an adult owl, Grimble, who is not moonblinked. Grimble begins giving the two flight lessons. The thermals, a warm wind that's easy to fly on, comes in, so Grimble decides that Gilfi and Soren need to leave. Jad is on guard duty, so Grimble tells him that his brother's about to take all the Beyblades that he's been wanting, so Jad leaves to go and take down his brother before he can get his claws on the Beyblades. Gilfi and Soren begin their escape, but Skench discovers them. Grimble fights her off so Gilfi and Soren can escape, and then he dies. Gilfi and Soren make their way into a forest, where Gilfi manages to land upside down. A great grey owl appears and helps her right herself. How'd you learn to do that? Gilfi asks. I was taught at the Orphan School of Tough Learning, the owl replies. The they learned the owl's name Twilight, and he managed to escape a St. Aggie's patrol when he was younger. He loves singing and fighting, and is currently searching for the Guardians of Gahul. Soren and Gilfi decide to try and find their families before possibly joining Twilight on his quest. They go to where Soren's family used to live and find their maid snake, Miss Plither. His parents and siblings are nowhere to be seen. Twilight threatens to eat the snake, so Soren threatens him back. Soren learns that he didn't just happen to fall from the nest. Clud pushed him. He is not particularly surprised by this. They then go to where Gilfi's family used to be. On the way over, they encounter a burrowing owl named Digger. Turns out, he is traumatized by St. Aggies as well. His siblings were snatched up by a patrol and one was even eaten. He faints when telling his story several times. Twilight tells him to man off and Gilfi goes off on Twilight. 
They can't find Gilfie's family, so they continue on, only to encounter a patrol of owls from St. Aggie's. Soren has abandoned the patrol fights, and the eagles who assisted Hortense show up and help them drive off the patrol, killing Judd in the process. Turns out, the eagles are named Streak and Zan. They're a mated pair, and Zan lost her tongue fighting a patrol. We close on a scene of Gilfie, Soren, and Digger deciding to join Twilight on his quest of searching for the Guardians of Gahul.